Hi guys, um, this is going to be a really, really quick update, um, like literally really quick. Um, I'll be 36 weeks tomorrow. Um, <clears throat> I think it was three days ago, Wednesday I think, um, I started getting contractions in the middle of the night. I think it was Tuesday night technically. started getting contractions in the middle of the night that were waking me up a little bit and in the morning they were, I was still getting them. Um, and then by 10, I started timing them, and they were coming every three to five minutes. So we decided to go get checked at the hospital just because my labors are so fast. Um, so my neighbor came and watched the kids, and my Alex is she was really, really sick um, with a fever and everything, like she wasn't even getting off the couch. So my neighbor had to come here rather than my kids going there. Um, yeah, so we uh, we went to the hospital and they checked me and I was almost four centimeters. And when they put me on the monitors, my contractions had gone up to almost two minutes apart. Um, and because I wasn't, I'm not 36 weeks yet, they don't want me going into labor. So they were giving me, um, I'm not sure what it was, but it's like a gas mask that they were giving me with something, some kind of medication in it that was stopping my contractions. So. They were trying to stop me from going into labor. Here. Um, so they made me stay overnight. <sighs> so that any time my contractions started up again, they could stop them. And so pretty much I went from having, you know, I, I it, the contractions just kept coming really. Um, they weren't really stopping. Even with the gas that they were giving me, it would kind of less than the intensity of them while I was having the gas, but they would start back up again pretty much right away after. So they, they wanted to keep me overnight. Um, that way anytime that I, my contractions did start up again, they could, you know, I could quickly page them and they could come and start the gas again. So they did that. I stayed overnight and in the morning, um, I still hadn't progressed, I guess. Oh no, I guess it was that evening. Um, they checked me again and I was still four. I wasn't changing, so... They were happy about that, but I was still contracting, so they were a little bit concerned. Um, so I stayed overnight, and then the next morning I was supposed to be discharged, and my doctor came in, and he didn't check me, um, but I had had a couple contractions here and there during the night, so they wanted to keep me again for another night, and I was so upset because my husband just left. You know, it's been less than a week, or maybe, it's, I think this is going on a second week now that Rob's been gone. And then now mommy's gone, you know, and Alex is sick. I, I just started bawling. I said, I have to go home. They need me home. You know, I'm not dilating anymore. These contractions that I am having aren't changing my cervix. I really need to go home. Um, so they sent me home with, uh, with this. I got this inhaler, which is the same stuff that was in the gas mask. Um, and basically up until I hit 36 weeks, which is tomorrow, any time that I start getting contractions, I'm supposed to use this to stop them. And if this doesn't stop them, I have to go back in. Um, but it's been, uh, I haven't really had any contractions, so it's been good. Um, but since that day at the hospital, I have been losing big chunks of mucus plug. Um, which I know, I mean, I'm, I'm almost 36 weeks, so I know that's pretty common. And they did check me a couple times, so... Um, I'm not really surprised by that, and I know that it can, you know, you can lose it a lot, and then it can regrow, so I'm not, I mean, the fact that I'm losing my mucus plug, I'm not really concerned about that, because I know that I am four centimeters, I think it's probably just from that, um, yeah, that's basically it, that's kind of what I wanted to update you guys on, just so you know what's going on, um, yeah, so I'm guessing any day now, I mean, if my body was going into preterm labor, <laughs> Um, so long as I make it to tomorrow, they told me if I can make it to 36 weeks, that's the difference between them stopping my labor and then actually helping my labor along because my nurse that I had told me if I was 36 weeks, by the time I made it to 4 centimeters, they would have just broke my water, which was really frustrating that she told me that, but, so anyways, I just need to make it to tomorrow and if I happen to go into labor again, then... then I know that um, 
you know, when I do go back into the hospital for contractions, that they'll probably just break my water and I'll have the baby. So, um, not too much longer. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, I've been trying to take it easy the past couple days so I don't go into pre labor again. What are you doing, baby? I've been getting up to pee a lot. Like, I, I pee, honestly, like, eight times a night. It's ridiculous. But I'm pretty sure she's right on my bladder because when my doctor checked me at the hospital, he did tell me that, like, he has to kind of go around her head to get to my cervix. And my cervix is really, um, uh, what's the word, like, posterior, I guess, is when it's pointing back towards my back. Um, so she's not quite engaged yet, which is a good thing, technically. Um, yeah, that's basically it. I'll do a quick belly shot, and then, um, that'll be it. Okay. There's the belly. 36 weeks tomorrow. it. Take care guys. Um, with my mother-in-law here, I really don't know if I'm going to be able to get another video in. My next video might be with baby, so we'll see. Um, but keep an eye out for it. Bye guys.